Hello people of the world, my name is Steam Fox, and today I'm going to be showing off update 1 of my Minecraft mod, the Pines mod. Update 1 as in multiple new items, blocks, and mobs, and it improves on most of the uh, features added in previous alpha versions. I will show off mobs, blocks, and items from the previous two alpha versions because this is more of an overall review than just an update because there's so much that I decided to uh, do a do everything in this one video so I'll start off uh, this map is made by Ford Pines also known as Ender Lord of Fire he is a very talented uh, modeler uh, map maker skin maker texture uh, he is he's working on this mod with me he is the modeler and texture of uh, about half the mobs and he does all the texturing for those mobs uh, and this map is amazing I'll leave a link in the description on uh, to where you can download it it's really cool it's the whole Gravity Falls town so here are the credits. I am the I've done programming, modeling, and texturing for the mod. Uh, Ender Lord of Fire, also known as Fort Pines, has done modeling and texturing. Nightworm has done texturing. He is a very skilled texture. You will definitely be able to tell which textures are his and which textures are mine because I'm not very good. Um, and then there's Crazy Modder who is, just joined the team and he does programming for the mod. He uh he programmed an item that has a really cool uh, thing to it. When I'm reviewing the item, I'll say that he was the one who programmed it. So that's about it for the credits. Uh, let's head on to making or showing off the items, blocks, items, blocks, and mobs. So here we have the cooked finger, which uh, you use a finger dropped by the disembodied hands. Uh, that was added in this update. Uh, you use the finger and you smelt it. And the finger is now a new drop of the disembodied hand. It no longer drops rotten flesh. Which it probably should. So you get a cooked finger which heals two hunger bars of health. Or two hunger bars of hunger. Here we have the Jacko Melon. It is now crafted with eight melons. Excuse me. Eight melons with one redstone torch in the middle. And that's now how you craft it, which is different from the older one, older crafting recipe. Here we have the eye in a bottle or eye in a jar. Can't remember what the name is. Eye in a bottle, yes. Um, it's with eight glass with an eye bat's eye in the very middle and you get the eye in a bottle which are these are both blocks so so the blocks right here here we have the memory tube from society of the blind eye it is crafted with two glass uh, blocks and one paper and um, it is a very nice block it's good for decorations anyway now let's go on to the Piccola. The Piccola can no longer be crafted. What you have to do is, to get Piccola is get a negative $12 bill, open up the new block, the vending machine, put the negative $12 bill into it, and you get Piccola. And uh, it stays the same. It heals as much health as it used to, and it gives you the same effects as it used to. Uh, with the negative $12 bill, the recipe has changed, so now it's six. It needs to have six paper in a row. And you get the negative twelve dollar bill, which in turn you can use to make a pit cola in the vending machine. Here we have the eye bat eye, which is not a drop. It is uh, you have to use two half of an eye bat's eyes, which are dropped from the eye bat eye. Uh, you use this to create the eye in a bottle. Here you have infinite pizza. Infinite pizza is crafted with one time wish. Uh, and anywhere in the crafting bench it will never go away it will never run out as many times as you eat it uh, but the time uh, it may seem too good to be true but it is not too good to be true because it, it may be true but to craft a uh, time wish it is very expensive here we have the six finger hand you use seven gold in uh, 
in the formation of an upside down leggings and you get the six finger hand which I will use in one of the recipes over there. The next item is the maple juice, which you can, which all you have to do is place uh, items, these four items, fish, raw fish, piccola, bucket, and a stick anywhere in the crafting table and you get maple juice. It stay, it's a drink and it does the same exact thing as previous updates or alphas. Here we have the president's key, which I will hold on to later. It is crafted with four gold ingots and one redstone. I will hold on to it for now. The president's key so that it opens iron doors. I forgot to mention this earlier, but you probably caught on by now. The president key opens up iron doors. It opens up any iron door from, or any door from any mo mod. And it, and it was the item that was programmed by the by crazy modder here we have the fang sword the fang sword is crafted with three cobblestone one stick and a manatar horn the manatar horn is dropped by the new mob the manatar and it gives it does six attack damage which is a which is as good as a iron sword here we have the Time Wish, which you use to craft the infinite pizza. The Time Wish is crafted with six obsidian, two diamonds, and one nether star. So, like I said, it's very expensive, but it can definitely be worth it when you, uh, and because it's infinite food, infinite food forever. Um, next thing on our list, on our list, is the first journal. The first journal is crafted with, uh, five leather one iron ingot, paper, two paper, and a six-finger hand, uh, which crafts the first journal, uh, which has no ability at the moment. Here we go on to the second journal. The second journal is crafted with five leather, two paper, a gold ingot, and a six-finger hand. The second journal, like the first, has no use at the moment. It will in the future. And then we go into the third journal, which has five leather, two paper, one six-finger hand, and one diamond. Now, the thing about the third journal is it has a feature unlike the other two. When you right-click on it, you will open up the book, and you can look through the pages, which the pages will just keep being added onto. There will be tons of pages, hopefully, in the next update. It has pages on the gnomes, uh, the leprechauns, uh, just, and there's Bill Cipher, there's some stuff written by the author, and it is, um, a pretty good, a pretty cool thing. It doesn't have any super good functionality at the moment. Uh, let's go on to the mystery card. The mystery card is crafted with seven iron ingots and one redstone. Uh, the seven iron ingots as for leggings and then one redstone the mystery cart upon right-clicking it you will spawn a mystery cart writable car and you can ride it around look fancy while doing so it's really cool um, it's a, a great model uh, definitely not modeled by me uh, it's pretty obvious that it wasn't it is a uh, really cool It is a really cool uh, car and entity and feature. And I think it's one of the coolest of this update. Uh, the next item is the tape measure time machine, which is crafted with three paper, three gold, and one redstone. The tape measure time machine no longer, at the moment, does not have a uh, does not have a feature, a functionality, a use. However, most items that do not have a use as of now will have a use in the future. Nothing in this mod will be completely completely useless except for the memory tube and the eye in a bottle. Both of those were definitely mistakes on my part. Uh, but everything in this mod except for those two will have functions in the future. Here we have the laser arm cannon which is crafted with four iron ingots. Uh, two diamonds and one redstone 
It is one of the two weapons along with the horn sword. It is one of the two weapons. Uh, it deals about two hearts of damage, I want to say, on each bullet. And um, it is kind of buggy at the moment. It's not super great. Here we have Loser Candy. Loser Candy is crafted by putting stand bucks inside a vending machine. Loser Candy deals or heals one hunger bar each. So it's uh, one stand buck is the equivalent to, two, to four hunger bars. Here we have the vending machine. The vending machine is crafted with iron, eight iron ingots and one redstone in the middle. It, is, it looks like a chest, but with a redstone in the middle. The vending machine, once you place it, it has this GUI. It is a container. It's a crafting table, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then we have stand bucks, which has three papers in a row. And you use the stand bucks to make loser candy. That is about it for all of the items. Um, I don't think there's any more. That was quite a lot. I My voice, my vocal cords are getting tired. I am not going to have a voice tomorrow. You have no idea how much uh, talking I've done today. Okay, so let's go down to the um, portal room and check out all the new mobs in the mod and the existing ones, which every single existing mob had been changed in some way. So let's go down by the fancy little laboratory and let's start off on the very left. We'll go from the very left to the right. So the first mob I want to show off is the Shmebulok. Shmebulok has a brand new model, once again not by me, uh, and it is very fancy, very blocky. Uh, it's very, it's a very good model. Um, it is great having a better model for Shmebulok. Uh, even though my first one, the first one in this mod, looked decent. It does not look anything good. Does not have anything against this one. Uh, once you kill Shmebulok, he instead of dropping, instead of dropping mushroom stew, he now drops. What is wrong? He now drops fur tufts. Uh, uh, the fur tuft has no use at the moment. It is one of the droppable items. Uh, all the droppable items I did not show outside. Uh, here we have the eye bat. The eye bat has a, a new and improved model. It looks amazing. Once again, not by me. Um, and. It does not have any other changes besides that. It still drops the half of an Ibet's eye or two half of an Ibet's eyes. Here we have Octavia. Octavia is the Octavia, the eight-legged cow. And this is pretty cool. It's all these legs sticking out. Um, Octavia behaves exactly like a normal cow. And once you kill Octavia, you get a Octavia's leg and raw beef. I do want to say real quickly that every single drop except for one uh, in this mod was textured by Nightworm. So here we have the Leprechaun. Um, all of these mobs have been completely peaceful except for uh, the gnomes. The gnomes are neutral. So once you hit one, uh, him and his friend should be coming after me. Hold on. Ow. Yeah, his friends should be coming after me. Yeah, see? Once you attack them, they come after you. And they're supposed to drop for tufts. So, let's go back to game mode one. Here we have the leprechaun, another model not by me. Uh, it is really fancy. But anyway, the leprechaun has two different jobs, drops. Uh, the rainbow tail and the four leaf clover. Neither of them have any functionality at the moment, but they look nice. So, here we go to the disembodied hand. Yeah, here's a disembodied hand. The disembodied hand has not changed any since the uh, previous alpha. 
uh, the only thing it does do now is drops the fingers, which can be cooked to make cooked fingers uh, a great delicacy. Here we have the teeth. The teeth. Um, the teeth uh, uh, is a hostile mob, like the disembodied hand, and it will spawn in forest biomes. Um, the disembodied hand for uh, teeth and the leprechaun all spawn in forest biomes, plain biome plains, and that's about it. And Octavia also spawns in forest and plain biomes. Um, the teeth drop tooth. Or, yeah, they drop tooth. They drop a tooth, uh, one or two teeth, and they have no functionality at the moment, like always. Here we have the Hectorgon. Hectorgon is another uh, hostile mob. It is It spawns in the plains and forest biomes. It will come after you. Excuse me. Uh, the Hectorgon does not drop anything at the moment. There, it dro doesn't drop anything, uh, like, really, I cannot think of anything for this thing to drop. Can you? Uh, go comment down below what you think this thing should drop. Don't make it clothing. Just don't make it clothing. And last but not least, we have the Manatar, which... I am sad to say has no model at the moment. There's been a bit of a difficulty with the modeling at the uh, right now, so uh, the model is not done yet. It's not complete. I I will release the version uh, a patch with the model in it when I when it's finished. Uh, don't forget to go check my Minecraft forum post out. Maybe subscribe, check it regularly, and, so that you know if the model's been released. Uh, the Manatar is a hot, a uh, peaceful until attacked. It is like the gnome. It and its friends will come after you once you attack at least one of their uh, one of them in their groups. They spawn in the mountain biomes only, and they drop fur tufts. Or they're supposed to drop fur tufts. They're supposed to drop fur tufts. They're supposed to drop fur tufts. Well, they're supposed to drop fur tufts, but they also drop manatar horns, which are crafted, which are used to craft the manatar sword, the manatar horn sword. But they're supposed to drop fur tufts. They're supposed to drop fur tufts. They're supposed to drop fur tufts. What is wrong with this minotaur? Well, they're supposed to drop fur tufts. Take my word on that. So, I think that's about it for the, um, mobs. Uh, let me show off the laser arm cannon. It is a bit glitchy. Uh, I'm trying to make it so that it has a visual blast because until until there's a vi until there's a visual blast, I will not be able to tell what the problem is once I shoot something. So hopefully that'll be fixed in the next update. If not, when in if not in the next update, in one of the future updates. Um. So yeah, that's about it for the mobs. It adds in quite a few mobs. It changes quite a few mobs. Uh, this has been a really big update. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's been a ton of fun making the Pines mod. I hope you all enjoy playing the Pines mod. Uh, go leave feature ideas you have uh, down in the comments below. Mobs you want to see added dimensions, biomes maybe, uh, items, blocks, just anything you want to see in the mod. Go comment it down below. Uh, go like the video if you liked it. Uh, go subscribe maybe. When I, I'll be posting a video for every update of the mod. Um, 
go to my Minecraft forum post and subscribe to that so that you know when patches come out because I do not release videos about patches. I might. If people want me to, I might. But the Minecraft forum post will have all those patches in it. And that's about it. Uh, one quick fact thingy is that one year ago today, I started my this, this YouTube channel. One year ago today, I started the uh, Steam Fox YouTube channel. I started off doing uh, speed arts and uh, some gameplay videos, and it was a ton of fun, and my channel's evolved a ton since then, almost to 350 subscribers. That is amazing. Uh, and thank you all to the people that have stuck around since the beginning, my first few subscribers. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing, and if you guys enjoyed this video, go like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!